Sloppy Joes. Sloppy Joes. What are Sloppy Joes? Well, Sloppy Joes are very popular in America, but our family have been making Sloppy Joes for a few years now, and we love it. In America, they make it with ground beef and they throw it on a bun like a burger, but we are going to make it with lentils. So this is how we make it. It's a very simple recipe. It's a quick recipe. I mean, it takes a while to cook the lentils out, but it's quick to put together. So we're going to put the onions in. I've just put a little bit of water down the bottom of the pot so that I can um, fry my onions off. So red capsicums and onions go in first and we just cook those until they're soft. The sloppy joes have been cooking for about five... Five minutes, yeah. Yeah, five minutes. We've been um, frying off the onion with some water and it is looking so good. The onion and the red capsicum, and they've softened up now, and we're ready to put the rest of the ingredients in there. Now, what we're gonna put, you're gonna give me the ingredients, okay? So can you give me the chili first? Chili. Chili, yep. Olive, can uh. you, yep. Can you put the chili in there? Be careful, it's hot, very good. Now mix the chili round. We only put a touch of chili. You don't have to put the chili in there if you don't want it, but it does give it a bit of a tang. Mm. Can you give me the salt, let's? Salt, good work, salt, pass it down. Salt in there. Oh, I'll put some extra salt in there. I love salt. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, you, because you love lentils. Lentils are my daughter's favourite dish in the world. Okay, Momo, can you give me the rest of the stuff? Can you give me the Dijon mustard? I know you know what Dijon mustard is because we got it together. Oh, I do not. Okay, so inside this Dijon mustard, I've got Worcestershire sauce, and now this is one of the ingredients the Americans use and it just really tastes good in there. So the Worcestershire sauce I get is the one without. Um, a lot of them are made with anchovies. The one I get is without, so just check the back. Um, some people just don't like anchovy, the flavour and stuff. I just like to stay away from all that. Mix that through. And then we've got, the kids are having a great chat here, so I'll keep going. Maple syrup, just a touch of maple syrup, just to give it some sweetness. Yum. And then soy sauce. And then that's it. Now, can you give me the lentils and the tomato? I've got the tomatoes, some tomatoes, a can of crushed tomatoes or canned tomatoes. Me put it in. Oh, oh. she's going to put the lentils in, and you can help me put the, you can help me put the liquid in. Whoa. Whoa, all in there. Can you help me put the liquid in? Okay. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Oh no, you're going to have to hold it. Kind of looks like a salad. Uh, Does it? Uh, a salad. Okay, ready? Whoa. And all we're doing now is putting vegetable stock. That's it, just with water. May do it. So a touch of rice vinegar. There we go. Now, we are going to let this cook out on a slow, uh, a medium low heat. And we're just going to stir it every 10 minutes. It sh Once the lentils are cooked, it's done. And we'll be back to show you exactly what it looks like. So we'll keep stirring and we'll leave it on the heat for a while, OK? So our sloppy joes are ready. I've been cooking it out. So what I did is I put the lid on and I let it simmer for as long as it took for the liquid to, to go and for the um, lentils to get soft. Now what I've done here is we've cut open just buns. Any buns will do. We like using wholemeal buns. And I'm going to put the sloppy joes on top of the buns like, like a burger and Throw your sloppy joes. It doesn't matter, it's sloppy. Some of it will come off. I like putting some yogurt on top. So I'm using coconut yogurt. And then you just put your bun on top and that's how you eat it. And I actually have some corn here because my kids love corn. And so putting some corn on the side. And there you have it, your meal. Cheap, easy, quick. Enjoy our recipe. Try it, let us know what you think. We'll see you next time.